YOLO, YOLO. Oh, s***. Google Glass. This would be way better if I had Google Glass, to be honest. Oh, well, that was fun. So that was Niagara, Ontario, Canada. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up our day. So we're gonna go back to the hotel, eat some dinner, and boom, we're on to Saturday. Now Saturday, we're gonna eat breakfast, leave our hotel actually, and um, drive one hour to Toronto, Ontario, Canada, because we're going to be staying there, and then doing some fun stuff there. And then it's been Easter Sunday there, and just basically tour everything there. And then on Monday, I told you guys before I'm leaving, so yeah. Niagara, Ontario, Canada. That was so much fun with the Niagara Falls, the Ferris wheel, the really effed up maze slash scary wax museum. That was pretty funny. That was actually weird how they added that because like it's a wax museum and the whole point is like terror and stuff. But that last part at the end, that was like completely random. I think it was unnecessary to be honest, but it was pretty cool. And yeah, and um, the theater. And yeah, that was pretty much fun today. Whew. So now, I'm going back to the hotel, get some Wi-Fi, and check on some Twitters and Instagrams and post some pics and stuff. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. And good morning everyone, it's Saturday today, and I am just about to head out of Niagara, and we're driving about an hour and a half to Toronto, which is going to be really exciting. We are going to transfer our hotels, we are going to explore straight into Toronto today, and spend Easter Sunday at a church in Toronto. So that's going to be a fun new experience to see the churches in Toronto. So that's going to be really fun. Plus we're going to see the CN Tower, which is the tallest tower I believe in Canada. And yeah, it's going to be a really fun time. Breathtaking views, lots of excitement to follow. So whew, this is going to be quite, quite the adventure. So yeah, I will see you in Toronto. So it's been two hours and we got to Toronto in about an hour and 30 minutes. So yeah, right now it's about three o'clock. And we're just about to head out to the CN Tower and we're walking because apparently there's a Toronto Raptors versus Brooklyn Nets game on television for basketball and it's like really crowded in the streets so we're going to be forced to walk instead of drive. The CN Tower is really huge. I saw it on my way here to Toronto and it's really, really huge. Larger than the Ferris wheel that I went on at Niagara. So. 
that's gonna be fun to see and yeah it's gonna be really painful to walk though it's a 30 minute walk so I'm gonna be really tired plus I just spent my entire car ride watching Divergent so I'm gonna be tired too speaking of Divergent by the way um, apparently we're in the Eaton Hotel we're staying on the fourth floor and one of the guys at the desk is named Tobias if that's not weird to you I don't know what is Anyway, we're headed to the CN Tower and we're going to be walking, so yeah, let's go to the streets of Toronto. That's the entrance, and go up, go up, go up, go up, and up. Nope, we're not even to the top yet. Nope, right there, right there. That's the very top. God, that thing is huge. Oh. I wonder what the view's gonna look like. It's gonna be really awesome. Go up that thing. Crap. I'm pretty sure this is the tallest building in Canada. The area around the CN Tower is huge as well. Holy! It's not only the tower itself, but look. Wow, that is huge. Tall buildings, tall buildings everywhere, large crowds. It's like the NYC of Canada to make it like, I don't know, it'd be a microcosm or should it be like an analogy? I don't know. I don't know. It's a sim Toronto's a symbolism for NYC or analogy, I don't know. Jesus. Oh. Oh. God. <laughs> That's a great view. Wow. Wow. That's great quality, actually. Wow. We're so small from here. It's crazy. Wow. Everyone looks like ants. Literally, ants. Wow, look at that. Wow, this is great. By the way, this is 1,139 feet in the air, so just just a few hundred feet off the um, the first uh, the new World Trade Center in um, New York. So um, about a hundred, uh, a few hundred feet less, and that gives you a perspective of about how high I am. Uh, I think the tour lady said like 300 something meters and about 114 stories, I think. So yeah, that gives you a perspective on where I am. Oh, helicopter. Okay. There would be the highway, down there would be a stadium, and over there, I think that's Toronto International Airport. I think. Well, it's an airport, so it's gotta be, and we're in Toronto, so it would make sense if it's Toronto Airport. So yeah, it's huge. You can see miles 
miles. Three. Wow. This is just... Wow. It's like looking at a scale model or some of some sort. It's really, really cool. And hot up here, actually. So I forgot to mention that in all of this, this is Lake Ontario, by the way. It's huge. I never thought it would be this big. It's really interesting when you put it into perspective how small it is on the map compared to real life. The scale must be really huge. Oh my god. <laughs> Well then. Hmm. We're really high up. We're really high up. Just look at that. 1,100 feet in the air. Holy crap. Wow. For some reason, I'm not nervous at all. That's really weird. You'd think I'd be scared of heights, but nope. I don't know why. It's really weird. Would you guys stand here, honestly? Would you honestly stand here? 1,100 feet in the air in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Wow. It's... Part of me feels lightheaded all of a sudden. I don't know. I think I know why. Oh, jeez. This is really great. It's really awesome. You really need to try this, guys. It's amazing. Great view from here. Great adventure. Great adventure experience. He's experiencing a good vlog. Oh my god. Wow. You didn't see this mirror at first. So, yeah, that's, this is what it looks like right now. So, uh, I'm not sure if you can see. Hold on. Uh, yeah, that's the floor. That's down. That's below. That's not above. That's below. That's right below my feet. That's right below my feet right now. Hold on. Hold on. Yep, that's right below me right now. So, yeah. <laughs> this is so weird from this angle, filming myself from a mirror. It's so weird. Hold on. Yep, that's really weird. <laughs> really weird. You know what just hit me? I totally forgot. The one thing that's vital to this entire vlog my battery charger to this Canon SX170iS. All things, I forget the battery. That would be me. I would forget the battery. So, I'll try to get as much vlog footage on the final day of Toronto and Canada all in itself tomorrow on Sunday. So hopefully I'll get enough footage of that to show you guys. Oh my god, I am so sorry. If this vlog gets cut short unexpectedly, I feel so bad, so I'm trying to conserve as much battery as I can, guys, so I hope uh, this vlog makes it on YouTube uh, safe and sound. So you can look outside, and I think this is the um, the sky thingy, the base jump whatever, or the sky edge dive thingy whatever, because um, I think, I believe Prank vs. Prank did this in a vlog of theirs, I believe. They went to Canada, and I think they did this. Either that or they did it on some other tower or some sort. I'm not sure if it was the CN Tower itself, but they, I, I know for a fact they did some kind of like edge walk or something like that. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, that's great. So yeah, um, that's really scary. It's $175 per person, so... Okay, so anyway, um, I hope this see you guys tomorrow if my battery is conserved enough for sa Sunday uh, to spend Easter in Canada. 420, turn up sweat. my way down here to the gift shop I found this it's a Lego construction of the CN Tower it is I'm not sure what the scale is but it looks pretty accurate to me it's pretty good looks awesome great actually hold on display purposes okay I thought it actually gave like the statistics and stuff don't worry LCD I got you I got you man. I got you so yeah I included this part just for you man I got you I got you okay so yeah that's um the huge CN Tower Lego representation. That is awesome. Only here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada.
Alright guys, I'll see you tomorrow. So it's actually the end of Sunday, Easter Sunday 420. And um, I didn't vlog at all today because, well, one, I went to church and to be honest, the priest at the St. Peter's Church in Toronto is like dope. He's my homie. Like, he is awesome. So if you ever get the chance to go to Toronto, go to church at St. Peter's because that guy is like the homie. He's literally the homie. So anyway, um, also after that we went to my mom's brother's house. That took longer than usual so we didn't do anything afterwards. So we just went back to the hotel, took a quick swim, and now we're at the end of Sunday and where we are right now. So we are currently packing and tomorrow we are hitting the road by around 8 to 8.30 so we can get back in New Jersey at around 6 to 7ish because I want to spend the last few hours of spring break with some of the friends and the peeps and stuff so yeah I really don't want to go back because it's so calming and relaxing here plus we're going to be hit hard with homework and stuff once we get back so that's going to be really annoying when we get back so <sighs> Dang, why can't spring break be, be longer? Everyone says that, but I'm just saying, why can't it be longer? It's been really real, Canada. Now that I've conquered all of North America, including Canada, the United States, and Mexico, where do we go next? I say Europe, because I want to hang out with uh, Lego Cash Boy slash Mega Brick Brothers. Uh, I'll put his channel link in the description down below. I want to hang with him, do some crazy shit him in the UK and I don't know go to London Eye that big Ferris wheel thingy Big Ben slash Elizabeth Tower do some crazy stuff that'd be awesome in the UK so if anybody has uh, four thousand dollars for my family um yeah um, hit me up and yeah, just hook me up with four thousand dollars and we can vlog for you guys in the UK so yeah just hook me up and we'll vlog in the UK this summer because unfortunately this summer my mom wants us to go to Punta Cana which is in the Caribbean I think it's in the Dominican Republic I don't know but anyway, I'm trying to convince her to go to the UK, but I don't think it's working, so I'm going to try harder. Plus, I can't go to VidCon this year because the last day of school apparently falls on VidCon, so that kind of sucks. My original plan was to fly out the night of the 26th after graduation day and arrive in California on Thursday to, in anticipation to rest and recover for Friday. But it looks like that's all screwed, so... I don't know where we're going this summer. So, yeah, another vacation vlog will be coming out this summer. Actually, I shouldn't say that because you know why? Because the gifted and talent group, gifted and talented group, for um, the school, the two schools in town, are going to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, May three. No, May. Wait, no, May. Uh, crap! I forgot the date. May 5th, 6th, and 7th. We're going to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday because that's the week of the 6th grades NJ Ask, which is the standardized test. So we're not going to be doing anything. We're going to come in late anyway. We're probably going to watch a movie in school. So yeah, it was a perfect date to do that. So yeah, you'll be seeing a Philadelphia vlog. Uh, it's going to be similar to my Boston vlog, kind of, except you won't be seeing Nathan, Jed, or Manny in my hotel room. So that's going to be practically the only change and possibly... Some other stuff. I mean, you know, it'll it'll be the same idea basically. So I'm excited for Philly, and I can't wait to um, vlog for you guys for that. I'm probably not gonna vlog anymore. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching this Canada Spring Break vlog. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Ask FM. Visit our COVID FTW website down in the description down below, and subscribe for more weekly-ish content coming soon, because tests. To after test, I'm going to be up uploading like consistently, so yeah, stay subscribed. Also, we hit the 400 subscriber mark and 40,000 video views, so I'd like to thank everyone for that, so thank you. I didn't acknowledge it because I was somewhat busy with a few things, so yeah, I just, I just like to tell you guys that I acknowledge you guys, and thank you for 400 subscribers and 40,000 video views, so I'd like to thank you for that. So it's been real, guys, so I will see you guys sometime in the future with my next video. Alright, peace.